Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be flying a model that I first flew around about a year ago and when it was announced it had great potential. It was competing with the Hubsons out there and on paper should have absolutely killed it to the point where people were starting to compare it to the DJI Spark because it's got two axis gimbal stabilization with optical image stabilization built in but it did things differently because its video feed was 5.8 gigahertz and not digital it's got a built-in DVR and micro SD card into the controller and onboard recording it's got features such as orbit mode as well but when I received it it had one major flaw and that was that there was no air vents in the camera so the heat being produced by the camera's sensor caused the lens to fog up and it was pretty unusable when it came to the footage which was a great shame as I say fantastic potential with this model now apparently they fixed it and this is the fixed version but when I compare it to the model that they sent in the first place I can't see a difference whatsoever so unless it's a subtle fix that they have done I can still see this having a problem and it's pretty easy to see the problem because if I bring the model in close you can physically see the lens fogged up and I can yeah lens definitely fogged up that is such a shame you see Fimi have been fantastic with their models the Mi drone absolutely competed with DJI the Fimi X8 so now they've got a 2020 version of that absolute corker but this one the smallest of flaws but it's such a fun model to fly and very cheap but I've heard that all you need to do is apply a little bit of heat to that front plastic lens and it comes off and then the heat dissipates out the front and you can actually see something now it's a sunny day here today so I'm struggling to see anything on the screen anyways but let's go up a little bit higher and see if I can spot anything this was the problem you see I reviewed this guy and it was a misty day anyways so I couldn't really tell if there was a problem and then I flew it a few times and every time I got the footage back whether it was a sunny day like today or a gloomy day the footage always came back with a slight hue on it and I think I'm seeing it there oh yeah definitely there now I know that's into the sun but it is not on you see it keeps the horizon really level and it doesn't have any object avoidance or optical flow but it's one of those models even in a windy day it keeps its hover it's fantastic come on Femi it should have been an easy fix I think when you look 
at the X8, it's got holes in the camera. And that's really all this one needs, you know? Fly superb. And for the price, if it wasn't for it fogging up, you could not go wrong. Now I tend to not use any of the features like follow me or anything like that, but it has all of that. I did a full review of it. I'm not gonna go through everything because I did that on my review. So I'll add a card to that. But what I'm gonna do is go back and take a look at the footage and if it's all fogged up I'm gonna remove that lens and see if there is an improvement. Well just as I suspected the footage came out very misty so I took a hairdryer to this plastic black part here and then an exacto knife to lift it off. There's a little bit of residue there but let's see if that fixes the misting problem. Okay, let's go for another takeoff. Hopefully this time it won't get misted up, but you never know. Maybe that sensor is heating up inside the lens of the camera itself and it can't be fixed. It's quite a breezy day here today. And for the price of this model, it holds its altitude and position amazingly well. Now the sun's slightly out, can usually tell when it gets misty when I turn towards those houses and they don't quite look right. But it also takes some time for the lens to fog up, so let's get a bit of height on. Just tilt the camera angle down a bit. So we're at about 90 meters there. And I can still see it, it's not drifting back. Don't really want to go any higher than that. Lift the gimbal up slightly. I'm keeping a line of sight of it. And then just pivot around just to take a look at the scenery. It's very difficult to see the screen here because it's sunny and the horizon isn't looking completely flat but that is because it isn't flat at this angle so over there is flat then it sort of like dips up it's a very good gimbal on this for the price you can see the hills just in the background there and it stays flat there and then when I lift it around, that's when it goes up and we look towards the estate. Let's see if I can go up to 120 meters, which is the legal height. There we go. Drone has reached max height, so it's set at 120. Let's bring the gimbal down. It's definitely a narrower shot than some drones, but wow, well, you really cannot complain for the price. I like how it's not let me go higher than the legal limit as well. with that just bring it round towards myself and we will do a slow descent 
Not seeing any fogging on the picture, but it's very difficult to see, so we'll bring it down and see how fast it comes down. Vertical speed, 3 meters per second, not bad at all. It's hard to tell if it's wobbling on the screen or the quad's actually wobbling, but I think because it's 5.8 gigahertz, it's wobbling that. I think the DVR might have actually stopped. The card is a little bit iffy, so I'm gonna bring it down and see if I can restart the onboard DVR. So it's coming back down here. And level out. And let's press the DVR button. Yeah, it stopped recording again, so must have stopped recording there for some reason. What's our battery voltage doing? 11.6 volts. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring it towards me and see if I can visually see any steaming up on the lens. How about that? No. Now I'm going to reserve my judgment until I've seen the footage. In fact, I'll put an overlay over the top if I'm happy with the footage. It's a really easy fix as well. Just heat it up slightly, not too much. You don't want to burn the camera. And then just get an X-Acto blade underneath it, lift it up and Bob's your uncle. The thing's not waterproof anyway. It's not doing anything other than causing a load of condensation on the lens. Ah, this is the quadcopter I wanted it to be a year ago. The problem is, Fimi, you have got second-hand sparks all over the place. All right, you never know where a second-hand quadcopter has been. That is always the problem, you see. You get it brand new, you get your warranty, there's a problem, you can send it back, you can get it sorted. Buying second hand is a risk. I've been burnt a couple of times with buying Session 5 cameras, refurbished, so-called refurbished, and they last about a week and start developing problems. Okay, so what are we at here? Yeah, DVR is still going. I don't know why that stopped there, so let's go up a little bit higher again and see if we can get some DVR because you do get a little bit of breakup on the footage with it being 5.8 gigahertz. I just wonder if it completely loses signal for a while and stops. I've not seen it do that before the last time I reviewed it. So it might just be a bad SD card. I really need new SD cards. A little bit of break up there. Well, I am pretty much on top of it, so that's not great for the signal. We're coming up to 100 meters in height, 101. 120 is the max limit. I'll just keep the throttle there. It slows down and doesn't let me go any further. I get an error on the screen. It's not an error, it's a warning to say max limit has been reached. The voltage isn't looking bad. 11.2 volts. It's the other thing that you can't do with this as well. So I can't capture the screen like I can on a phone. Yeah, this is fantastic now. And of course, with it being 5.8 gigahertz, you can get your Fat Shark analog goggles, whatever you like, and view the picture through there. Probably get an even better picture. So I really like that about this. It's all in one as well. You don't need a phone. See, you can 
by a drone and it appears to be a decent price, decent value, but then you're like, hang on a minute, I've got to spend at least, you know, two to three hundred dollars on a phone. Whereas this, you've got absolutely everything, and I really liked this model for that. So hopefully, if I've managed to get rid of that mist, then jobs are good. And right, what we're at 11.1 .1 volts. It looks like the DVR is still going. So let's bring it down. It's 16 GPS is so there you go, it's on the way down. I'm getting a little bit of break up. Not too bad. People always complain I don't do range tests with these but it's called being safe guys. If you are finding the need to fly something like this for kilometers and kilometers, why don't you just walk to the thing that you want to get a shot of so that if anything goes wrong, you're within line of sight of it. You potentially won't lose your model and you can land it safely. Now, I've been doing this for some 30 years so very cautious oh the wind's blowing it around a little bit now I think the gimbal's gone a little bit out of work actually let's level it here with the trees and do a pirouette oh no I don't think so I think it's I think it's just the contours of the land, it's very tricky when you start to see trees and things like that. So can we get it to do some stuff before I need to land it? So what have we got here? We have got orbit flight, what if I press that? It says fly to the above of interest point nice English there use the pitch and roll stick to control the circling radius and direction make sure the field is open short press the home button to exit this mode okay, so I think it must fly over the top does it it's pretty much over the top fly above the point of interest Use the pitch and roll stick to control the circle radius. That's okay. Yeah, so it moves back there. Do I have to control the gimbal? Looks like it. And then I think I push back if I want it to go out further. So it's got me there. Is it going to start moving on its own? Oh, the wind! So I'm putting an aileron in there. And then, yeah, it's doing it, it's going. I just need to lift up the gimbal to control what it's doing. Is it gonna keep me in shot though? The moment of truth. It's only really DJI that can do that. Look at that, it's doing it. I'm not moving. I'm just following the model. In fact, I'm gonna stand still move the gimbal a little bit the sun's coming out yeah that's working so press the home button to stop is it and then it just stops in its place perfect see I really like simple things like that So what else have we got? We've got auto takeoff, auto landing, orbit flight, follow me. Okay, let's try follow me. The drone will follow the RC to fly automatically. Uh, press OK. So 
it's just following me. Perfect. <laughs> oh, come on, Fermi, man. All you needed to do with this A3 was just get rid of that stupid piece of plastic glass that's not doing anything. And we've got a winner here. It's following me. All in one for that price. Superb. And it's lucky that it is an easy fix. I think anybody could get that front piece off. You could potentially not even warm it up. It doesn't matter if the glass breaks because it's useless as long as you don't break the camera inside, which is actually recessed, so it'd be very difficult to do that. Okay, let's stop that there. What else have we got here? Selfie mode, oh, I don't like that. Adjust the camera gimbal to make sure the target is focused in center. Make sure the field is open. Target in center. Uh, but I can't see myself there. Okay, well, so what's it gonna do? I'm in the center. Oh, there we go, and it just flies backwards like that. So really, if I stop that, don't want it getting too far away there's some trees over there so what you want to do for selfie mode and i'm not looking in the best condition here so apologies what's the battery saying low battery yeah so we're gonna have to come in for a landing soon the only other one i think is headless mode anyways which i like to call hopeless mode very bad for beginners okay so let's go back into selfie mode and then okay get me in the center and is it still recording looks like it and there we go it sort of goes backwards and then up that's superb that is don't want it to go too far away though so i'm going to stop it and it just stops instantly and from there let's have it do a return to home because it's saying the battery is pretty low so i think it's going to be a press of the return home button there is it doing anything or do i have to long press it low battery landing automatically oh it's landed on the spot is it don't really want it to do that which is why i didn't want to take it far away. What happens if you hold return to home? Right, so that's automatic returning now. So the battery got so low it thought it needed to land on the spot, you see. That is way overshot though. You have to remember it doesn't have any cameras underneath or anything like that. So not perfect, but gonna try and get it on the pad myself that's where we took off from oh. the recording is showing 17 minutes what is it doing <laughs> it's going back up no it, wa it wants to return that okay let's let's stop that 10.7 volts should be fine it's trying to land over there where it thinks the landing spot is because it doesn't have completely accurate GPS but if we bring it down there that should be fine low battery FC yeah, it's gone up to 11 volts though so that's very conservative that is but a decent flight time and decent features I don't think the camera is on par with a spark but when it came out the spark was fairly new and it's nowhere near spark money so very impressed with that just going to stop the dvr as well it is beeping how do i stop the beeping i just turn it off maybe there we go right <laughs> so that's my updated video on the Fimi a3 all it took was to remove this lens off here i mean Fimi, you did say that you had fixed the problem, but clearly not. This is a brand new model here, and it's still steaming up at the front. Needs some vents in here, like you did with the X8. 
and it's an absolute stunner when you do that. So if you're interested in buying one, I'll put links in the video description because you can get batteries quite easily as well. It holds its position nicely. You just have to remove this front panel off the camera and you have got a good deal. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.